Googie wasn't invented by us. Lautner, of course, did the original Googies up on Sunset Boulevard. We, on the other hand, did the second Googies. It was downtown Los Angeles. And for some reason, we got stuck with the name Googies. Not him. The OO with little eyes in them uh, was the a result of a cartoon character back in the 1920s and 30s. So Googies was kind of a whimsical type of thing. So it's whimsical architecture. Arme and Davis, they started in 1947. One of them had come out of the service and the other one I think had worked uh, maybe in the aircraft industry, I don't know. About that same time, uh, Helen Fong joined the firm. They were introduced to um, Bob Wyan and so they did Bob's Big Boy. Uh, I actually developed a uh, standard uh, Bob's Big Boy, and um, we um, built about 70 of those restaurants. But I think the best designs that they ever did back in the 50s were from Norm's. Norman Roybark, this is what I was told anyway, and I think that is basically true, was at the race, racetrack with um, Tiny Naylor. And wanted to know how Naylor could afford to blow that kind of money and still keep coming back to the racetrack. And he says, well, it's because of, you know, some of these restaurants that I own and I'm making lots of money. And uh, Norm, who was a used car dealer at the time or a car salesman, thought, well, you know, that, that looks pretty good. So who did you use as architect? And I guess our man Davis. So they, he came to our man Davis then to come up with a, a design for their uh, the signs and uh, the building, the concept in general. And uh, we opened up everything. We opened up the kitchen, we opened up the, the walls and the glass and the whole thing like that. We wanted to be able to, to not have a barrier except for the glass between you and what was outside. So the landscaping, a lot of times we would take palm trees and run them right through the roof and uh, uh, have this uh, really, really exotic uh, landscape designs, and they were all done by Sid Galper. I always was experimenting with uh, colors. We would take the artwork to extremes inside, too. Everything was custom designed inside. Uh, the clocks were custom designed. The artwork that was on the walls were designed primarily by us through the artists that we used to work with, and we used to work with a lot of really fine artists. We'd also design the um, menus and get into what the waitresses, what kind of things they were going to be dressing. We'd get into small wares, like what do the um, plates look like, the, you know, the whole thing. It's in a total design. You're there for a show. The theory was get them in, get them out. It's a business. And what you're designing is a food factory. Okay, you're producing food. Make them want to come in, make them want to eat, and maybe don't make them too comfortable that it's, uh, you know, that they're going to stay.